Macho Canadian, and today we're going to be working on a hostile moth barn, and we're going to put it way up there. Uh, that's 75 blocks up. Um, as you can see, we've dug out a little bit here to get rid of uh, uh, that pumpkin farm that was just sitting here in the way, making it hard to push our golems into our water trap. And uh, since the last time, the last video, I've gone ahead and made a colored sheep farm. I don't have any shears on me right now, but I'll show you how that works a little later. But as you can see, we've got all the different colors there. But either way, today we're working on this. And we've got a stack here with 75 blocks up. And we're going to head up to the top here. And hope we don't die and fall. Alright, so, now that we're up here, we gotta make sure we build this out the right way. So, this is gonna be the front corner, and we need to go 21 blocks this way. Two, three, four. All right, now we just need to square it off and fill it all in. This is this will be the bottom layer, and we'll uh, um, we would uh, we'll dig out a little trench in in the middle of it when we're all when we're all done, and. Uh, We'll have a nice drop chute in order to see all of our stuff falling down. Then I built it over to the side of our village just a little bit because I didn't want the shadow from this platform causing dark spots and having mobs spawn in on us. It's bad enough that we get them in there on occasion as it is. I've had two zombie sieges now. Which, it hasn't been too bad, they haven't gotten any of the villagers. I managed to catch them quickly enough, but... Either way. Such a slow process.
just so we don't end up with something sp spawning up here and knocking us off. Wouldn't be hard to get our stuff back because it's all going to be right beside our base, but I'd rather not have a creeper surprise me. Alright, this is the biggest platform that we have to make. After this, it's only uh, little wedges above it. Four wedges above each, one, above, each, above each side. Shouldn't take as long to build at that point. Alright, let's clean this up a little bit. Alright, now we're going to put a, a border. We want to come up three, two, three, and that leaves a height of three here. All right. Here we go. All right. So we want to go over two, one, two, and then come out one, and then fill this in this way. And then we want to come in two and do the same thing all the way along. So 
All right, come in two. And come in two. And then step in one more. And on each of these little platforms, we're going to put a dispenser with some water buckets in each one, and we'll hook it up to a hopper clock, and it'll flush each of these floors as long as we set it to. We'll come in one more. And it'll push everything off to the bottom platform that we're standing on. And then we'll have some water streams down here to push everything down to the very bottom where we can collect our, our items and kill any stragglers. I've taken off a lot of stone. As you can see, it goes a little bit quicker once you start getting up onto these parts here. And that should leave a nice little hole in the middle there. stick a dispenser in the middle of each one and we'll wire it all in later all right and we'll put a border around And this is going to have to be too high because we don't want anything jumping over the, the edge. The water stream should help to keep it that way, but we don't want anything getting stuck on the edge. And we're going to have to head down pretty soon to get some more stone. Shoot. And there we go. Oh, another row. And 
and there's our two high. And that's the basic brain work for our, our hostile mob farm. So over here just a little bit. And we're going to go up one more so that it, the roof is three high. And then we got to go in and fill this all in. It's a similar build to doing a uh, iron golem farm, which we may end up doing at some point. Uh, it's just the tediousness of building a elevator for the villagers to get all the villagers up here this high. Uh, it does make a big difference because it has to be a certain, uh, I believe it's 68 blocks away from the, any doors or anything else, so it has to be fairly high. And we don't want anywhere else for the golems to be able to spawn other than the platform we build for it, so it, yeah, I find it works best if, we, if you build it up in the air. And you can always put in another portal up here and use another hub to jump up and down if you need to get up and down here quickly. Maybe well, that's what we'll do later on. I haven't done too much with another hub yet, just kind of started off the, the first portal there, and we still have a fortress to go and explore. And could be interesting. Alright, so then that's our one, two, three high, and then we can put in our roof. Oops. And we'll do it the same way. One, two. And one, two. Stack and then we'll have, ah, well, we might as well go now. And I suppose the fastest way is going to be to jump. And there we go. And up we go.
And we want the the too wide gap here because most of our mobs are too wide. And we want the three high ceiling because we want the Endermen to be able to spawn in here because we want to be able to grab a couple of Endermen here and there. I think we'll try to do maybe four layers. Should be should get a good amount of drops with four layers. I think. I would expect. I haven't really tested the drop rates, but it'll do more than enough for a world with just me in it for now. Until we worry about getting other people in here. And that's why I built the platform first. Because I tend to fall off of it. But it's all in good fun. And that's part of the fun of survival. There's no fly mode. You gotta actually build your staging and... To me, I find that makes a big difference. But I do enjoy going into the into a creative world and testing out a build here and there and seeing how the redstone works or I was working on a uh, item frame selector panel with uh, a bunch of Jeb doors attached to it where one would open when the next one would close and that was looking pretty cool. Got it to work, I'm just not sure exactly how I want to use it. Alright, so now let's put in another row of dispensers. Oh shoot, missed that jump altogether, didn't I? To find a better way to be getting up and down here. Uh, make sure we're in the right row here. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Let's light this up a little bit. And then we'll start on our edging. And again, we need this to be three high, but the wall can be two high. Right. 
All right. Well, I'm going to finish up putting in these layers. Like I said, I think I'll finish off and continue doing the same thing as I'm doing here. Going up another layer, and we'll get a total of four different platforms, spawning platforms. And then we'll do the redstone, and I'll come, I'll come back online, and uh, we'll do another video with uh, the redstone to wire up our dispensers, and to, to actually get this thing turned on. But for the time being, uh, I will... Oh, yeah, there we go. I will continue to finish this off stream, so you don't have to sit here and watch me place a thousand blocks. And we'll see how this goes. I am Nacho Canadian, and this will be a hostile mob farm.